Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can become a data analyst from scratch. I'm assuming that you have no background in data. You are from a non-coding background. You may have career gaps and you have not started your career yet. So these are the assumptions by me and let's check it out. Let me tell you one thing. At any point in your life, you can opt for this career knowing that you have the right skill set and ability to search jobs for you. Searching jobs is one of the crucial things that you need to learn about this role. So let me tell you something different about this job. Two people who call themselves data analysts could be doing entirely different work in entirely different organization and they still call themselves a data analyst because this field is not actually defined. You can call yourself data analyst and you still do moving duplicates from an Excel workbook. You can use entirely uh, one tool that is called Excel and you still can call yourself a data analyst. Alternatively, another person who has worked on different different analytical tools such as Power BI, Tableau, Adobe Analytics and Google Analytics, all of this tool he can use and call themselves analyst. So both of these are analysts. You have to choose which one you want to become. So if you're still not sure what is a data analyst, data analyst is someone who brings out meaningful insights from a data that has been given to them or could be extracted by them only from web scrapping method. So data analysts particularly work on a data oriented program. For example, if you have given a data to find out best selling product from a particular year. So what you'd be doing is just using your all the analytical skills that you have gained and finding the best selling product out of all the products that has been given to them. It's a very wide field and it has a lot of domains. So if you are still thinking about choosing a domain, I would suggest you to go for any domain because having a domain is a plus point of getting hired because a lot of people are just looking for a data analyst job and still not able to find one because of the fact that they have learned all the skills that is required, but they have not added those topics that are essential to find our jobs. So if you are particularly from a domain, let's say you have chosen a CRM domain, which is my domain and I am called as a Salesforce data analyst or Salesforce business analyst. Similarly, you want to become an AWS analyst. This is somewhere a cloud data analyst. So uh, similarly, we have healthcare data analytics, HR data analytics, fraud and risk data analyst, banking analyst, operations analyst, support analyst, and list goes on. So having a domain could be a plus point for you because finding a job these days is very hard and you have to take the necessary steps to find a job very easily and that could not be frustrating and that could serve your purpose really well. Always do your own research, look for a domain that is well suited for you and just stick on it. You will get a job of data analyst very soon. Next thing that I would obviously talk about is skills that are required to become a data analyst. So one thing that before going on, I would mention that you don't need to master any skill that I'm going to be mentioning. You just need to know them very well to do your own job of data analysis. So when I started out as a data analyst, I remember that I didn't know a lot of SQLs, but I knew how to use joins, how to use group by statement, how you how to use having statement to construct a code that has been given to me. So yeah, that was it from my end and I was able to grab the opportunity. So the number one tool on my list is Excel, obviously. Excel is something that is used by most of the analysts. When I say most, 95% of the analysts uses Excel to analyze the data. So when I say this thing, I completely mean it. You need to have a lot of knowledge over Excel. You have to be really, really proficient in using advanced Excel skills such as pivot table, power querying, macros, VBA, and in general, lots and lots of things in Excel. So Excel has plugins which could be integrated with different different platforms such as Salesforce, Power BI, Tableau, or be it any tool, you can add the Excel plugin and your task would be really, really easy afterwards. Ever since Excel was introduced, nobody could replace this particular tool and I genuinely mean it. So next skill on my list is SQL. SQL is structured query language, which is the heart of data analytics. So why I am saying that whenever I sat for interview, I've sat for almost 30 plus interview of data analytics and I could see the pattern that around 90% of the time recruiter was looking for how good I'm in SQL. So they were like asking me a lot of querying, a lot of questionnaire about what is union all, what is these things. So I realized that around 90% of the time you, you are getting the job if you have great knowledge of SQL. So having SQL skills is mandatory for this particular role. And if you're good into it, oh my God, you're going to get this particular job. And I'm really happy for you if you are able to grab the job opportunity in data analytics field. It doesn't matter which domain you have picked for, SQL is something that is going to be there. The next skill on my list is statistics and let me tell you where I have used this particular skill. 
and, and as an analyst, what I used to do is I used to write formulas that I was not even aware of. So there I got to know, okay, these are all the statistical formula that I have learned in my 11th and 12th maths. But I, till now, I haven't realized that, okay, I was calculating a variance of something. I was calculating a mean of something. I was doing the standard deviation of this particular formula. So there I realized, okay, having a knowledge of statistics is very, very crucial in data analysis. So most of the analysts, what they do is measure the KPI. What is a KPI? It's a key performance indicator. Just like uh, we used to measure time in seconds, minutes, we have certain KPIs which are used for like a revenue generation just to check the performance of particular product. So we design certain kind of KPIs in data analysis. There we used to get a lot of formulas, a lot of things that are we are even not even aware if we have not used statistics. So having a knowledge of statistics is very much crucial in this particular role. And if you are aware of these terms, matrices, dimension, KPIs and things like that. you can already call yourself an analyst. So the next thing on the list is data visualization. Now that you know that you capture the data in Excel sheet or Google sheet in the form of raw data and that raw data could be converted into beautiful dashboard which are present in these particular tools such as Power BI, Tableau, Google Analytics, even Salesforce has a, that dashboard thing that where you can present your data in charts and graphs form. So basically we do these kind of visualization very accurately and a beautiful man. Someone who has no knowledge over technical things could easily understand through data visualization like what is get happening, how this revenue is converted, how much lead is converted into a product. So these are the kind of things that you want to explain to a business person who cannot understand the technical things that go on over a data but they can easily understand through graphs and charts form. Visualization is a mandatory step that every kind of data analyst goes through. So having a knack of this skill is extremely, extremely important in this particular industry. And if you have no knowledge over data visualization, what you can do is learn any tool, either Power BI or Tableau. They are open source. You just need to search for Tableau Public or Power BI and you can just practice these skills on your own. So the next skill that you can gain for this particular role is cloud and why am I saying is if you have not chosen any domain for yourself and you are still confused which way to go, I would suggest you to choose for cloud because cloud has more opening than any kind of data analytics field has. So if you go for AWS or SAP BI, you will realize that there are a number of job openings and less people are applying to these kind of jobs which could increase your chances of getting hired. Still not chosen, please choose cloud as a domain and you will realize that you have got the job and you would thank me later. Last but not least is programming languages and there are two programming languages that you could go for either Python or R or you could learn both but in my opinion you could go for Python because it's quite easy and it has a lot of demand than R in, in a lot, around 40% of the job posts that are data analytics you would see Python present over there. Python has more points than R. So if you're thinking that is uh, Python mandatory, is coding mandatory in this particular role, I would say no because a lot of job posts, around 60% of the job posts does not contain any kind of programming languages. Around 40% job post has these kind of uh, requirement of having a programming knowledge which is itself is a good thing about it because if you want to switch later to data science, data engineering, you will realize that Python is something that is going to be really present over those roles. And if you have thought of moving your career from data analytics to uh, somewhere in AI or data science, you will you will have more chances in getting a great switch. Links to all the free resources are present in the description box below. You might want to check that out. And yeah, this was it for this video. I hope you guys found out this video helpful. And if you have any query, suggestion or doubt, you can write it in the comment section below. I would highly appreciate your time in writing such comments and it matters to me. So bye bye for now until we meet next time.